Welcome back to the Crypto World Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and Ethereum right now is in a deciding moment. In just a moment, I'll be updating you on existing chart patterns for Ethereum and also entirely new chart patterns forming on the chart that we need to be paying attention to. All of that and more in this video. So make sure you're watching all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on any of this important information. And just before we jump into it, make sure to click the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, you might as well subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. But with all of that out of the way let's get straight to what this video is about so right here we're on the ethereum to US dollar chart on the four hour time frame and as you can see here this is the potential diamond bottom formation that we were talking about yesterday on the channel and we initially broke out to the upside but ethereum ran into this level of resistance coming in at around 4350 approximately and by the way that level of resistance is determined by the 95 exponential moving average on the four hour chart which is a moving average that i've been sharing for quite a while now because for example back here this was huge support during this previous this short term uptrend but ever since we broke this moving average we have been looking more bearish and now we've seen two rejections along this exact moving average which is obviously confirming this level as resistance so in order for ethereum to play out bullish patterns like this and really start a recovery to the upside again we first need to break above this moving average once again coming in at around 4350 approximately now in the four hour rsi we are still trending to the upside which is good to see but when you're looking at the two most recent highs they haven't really been trending to the upside so this is right now forming a head and shoulders pattern on the four hour RSI. Now, normally these sort of patterns like a head and shoulders pattern, for example, obviously isn't really meant for the RSI. It's meant for the price action. But with that being said, obviously it still would be a bearish thing for Ethereum. If the RSI on the four hour chart drops below this line of support right now coming in at around 42, a move like that in the four hour RSI for Ethereum would potentially signal a little bit more bearish price action in the short term coming into play. And something like that would likely invalidate this diamond bottom formation. So once again, for this to play out, we need to confirm a bounce here to actually confirm the breakout to the upside and get above that EMA. Now zooming out a little bit over to the six hour chart, what we have here is of course a symmetrical triangle pattern also forming for Ethereum. At the moment, we've only got two main touch points along support and two main touch points along this line of resistance. So ideally, I'd like to see another touch point, a third touch point along the line of support or the line of resistance to really confirm this pattern is actually forming. And by the way, a symmetrical triangle pattern isn't necessarily a bullish or bearish pattern, but sometimes it can take into consideration the trends that we entered into that pattern, which of course was to the downside. So that can influence the bias of this pattern, potentially leaning a little bit more bearish in this case, considering we are in a short term downtrend, but really that doesn't have a huge influence on the bias of this pattern. So what we need to do is just wait for a break either below support or above resistance. And right now this line of resistance is coming in at once again, around 4,350. And this line of support is coming in at around 4,070 US dollars. Once again, this pattern is not confirmed. I'd like to see a third touch point along either support or resistance. But if we could do that, that sets up some potential price targets for Ethereum moving forward. For example, if we break above resistance with confirmation, that sets up a price target towards 4.8K. But if we break below support with confirmation, that sets up a price target down towards 3.6K. So right now, this is just something to keep an eye on in the short term, especially if this diamond bottom formation fails. Because even in that case, once again, we could still be forming this symmetrical triangle pattern. Now giving you another quick update on this chart just here, mainly for the new viewers on the channel, because the subscribers on this channel would already know about this chart by now. If you're a new viewer on the channel, all you need to know is that all of this price action was actually expected even before this played out. The moment we broke this support line, I was expecting a move down to this exact level. And then the moment we got there, I was expecting sideways consolidation. And in the 12 hour RSI, we did dip down to the very bottom of the RSI band, which historically speaking has come in confluence with previous market bottoms for Ethereum. And the 12 hour MACD right now is trying to make an attempt of a bullish cross, but we haven't got a whole lot of follow through to the upside, at least just yet. But with all of that in mind, looking at the 120 day simple moving average that is right now coming in at around 3.6k, which is exactly where this huge cluster of volume is starting at in the VP VR indicator, which for the beginners out there, that simply just means that we have huge support at 3.6k. So even if Ethereum breaks these lows and forms one more move to the downside, then in that case, it would be very likely we would find huge support at around 3.6k once again. And the subscribers would already know about this, but for the new viewers on the channel, quickly looking at the September correction, as you can see, Ethereum came straight back down to the 120 day SMA, which is exactly where we bottomed out before we got ready for the next major move to the upside. And you'll notice here, halfway through the September correction, we stopped at the exact 38.2% Fibonacci level right here. And at that stage, we were having a sideways consolidation, exactly like what we are seeing right now. And in fact, that was how I expected all of this price action playing out right now. All I did was simply take a look at the September price action, because right now we have a lot of similarities. And so as I've mentioned in almost every single video, 
video over the past week or so. If Ethereum continues to play out this correction similar to the September correction, then we could be due for one more leg to the downside towards around 3.6 to 3.7K because of course this moving average is still increasing. For example, in a week's time, this would be coming in at more like 3.7K. But with that being said, staying on the 12 hour chart for Ethereum, we're currently forming a potential head and shoulders pattern. On this 12 hour chart, we saw the left shoulder for the head and shoulders pattern form at the end of October. And then we saw the head form in between the end of October and around the 19th of November. And then just recently with this sideways consolidation that we are experiencing right now, we're potentially forming a right shoulder. But I wanna make it clear that this pattern right now is not confirmed. For this pattern to confirm, we need to see a move down towards the neckline again, coming in at around 3.9K approximately, and then a confirmed break below that level before this pattern even confirms. So as of right now, this is just something to pay attention to while we're still potentially forming this pattern. Now giving you another quick update on Ethereum versus Bitcoin on the four hour time frame. I mentioned in yesterday's Ethereum update video that we were forming this inverse head and shoulders pattern, which by the way, for the beginners out there, this is a bullish pattern. And since that video, we have broken to the upside and right now we are potentially in the retest phase for this breakout. So now what Ethereum needs to do in order to confirm this breakout to the upside is simply hold above this level right here, coming in at around 0.074 Bitcoin per Ethereum. If Ethereum can do that, and more importantly, if we can see a strong bounce from that level, then that would be the retest that we're looking for to confirm this breakout to the upside. And obviously a move like that will give us a bullish price target to pay attention to. And what's already good to see about this potential breakout is the fact that we've already seen a spike in volume as we were breaking above the neckline. And so this right here can act as confirmation of the breakout by itself. But obviously a retest will act as extra confirmation. And in fact, it's important now that we hold above this level because if Ethereum starts breaking back below the neckline, then that would invalidate this inverse hand and shoulders pattern. But anyway, getting into the price target for this pattern, if we can simply just hold above this level, the price target is coming in at around 0.078 Bitcoin per Ethereum, which by the way, from where we are right now at the time from this video to that price target is around a 5% gain. And for the beginners out there, what that means for Ethereum is simply if we play out that move on this chart, that would mean that Ethereum would be outperforming Bitcoin by 5%. So for example, if Bitcoin dropped 5% against the US dollar, Ethereum against the US dollar would stay the same. Or if Bitcoin didn't move against the US dollar and Ethereum played out this move for the Ethereum versus Bitcoin valuation, then having this gain against Bitcoin with a neutral Bitcoin would mean that Ethereum would have a 5% gain against the US dollar. And then of course, if Bitcoin gains against the US dollar, Ethereum has an even bigger gain. So basically when Ethereum valued against Bitcoin, this chart just here moves to the upside, then technically speaking, it is more profitable to be holding Ethereum over Bitcoin. But when this chart is heading to the downside, then it actually makes more sense to be holding Bitcoin. And if you want to get extra real-time updates throughout the day on the crypto market, definitely make sure you're following me over on my Twitter. My official Twitter at CryptoWellJosh is linked in the description and also in the pinned comment for those of you that want to stay up to date in the markets at all times. But anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed or got something valuable out of this video, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. As always, I really do appreciate all of your support in the channel at the moment. I can't thank you guys enough. And before you click off, especially for the new viewers on the channel that haven't seen these uploads, definitely check them out because these videos reveal some of the top altcoins with huge potential that I'm looking at right now. And in fact, all three of the metaverse altcoins that I mentioned in that metaverse video have already exploded in value since the release of that video. But anyway, that is really everything I have to say for this video. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.